the top from nowhere is the title of adventurer Sibu Sisuvilani's autobiography and it captures his journey from herding goats as a youngster in Iswatini to the greatness of being the first black African to summit the highest point on earth. Sibu joined us outside Swellendam at one of the planet's most beautiful places to share his story. This is absolutely amazing. I'm known for traveling and spending nights and sleeping at very wide places, rocky, frozen lands, but this is amazing. His adventurous spirit soon saw him trade Fazenda Forest Retreat's luxury for its trails. There are many people who don't know that. There's this thing in nowadays um, known as the Explorer's Grand Slam. And an Explorer's Grand Slam or the Adventurer's Grand Slam is summiting Mount Everest, climbing the seven summits, skiing to the South Pole and boat to the North Pole. And there are probably about less than 70 people in the whole world who have been, who have been able to do that. To sit here and sh say that I'm one of those few makes me just feel humbled and grateful to have been able to be exposed to those things. The first mountain he had to climb was a childhood where there was no such thing as three meals a day. I started quite late in life, meaning I'd never adventured when I was a kid while growing up in rural South Africa and Swaziland. But in 1996, I met John Doble, a friend from England, and I offered to take him on a hike in a nature reserve. And he looked at me and said, I think you have this amazing ability to walk with such ease and such ability. You don't show any fear, and I think you'll make a good climber. And then in 1996, he mentioned that an African had not climbed Everest. And I decided that I was going to do it. But we were never able to do it up until 2003, which is when then I went and, and did that. And I came back a transformed person. When Sibusisu arrived to climb Everest, his training ground had been the Drakensberg and Mount Kilimanjaro. So he is proud of our home ranges. To have such an opportunity like being here in Solendam in this beautiful place, I just feel at home and feel very grateful and it is such a beautiful place. Who would just say that this wasn't in Europe if you were to show it? But it is not, it is here in Africa. To show off our natural wonders to the world, he was about to get more than his feet wet, courtesy of Alain Kutsia's crew. The Brita River starts in Sierras. It runs all meanders away from Sierras, Wolseley, Wooster, Robertson, Ashton, and comes past Swellendam, and all the way down to Machas Infante and Vitsa. It's about 325 kilometers long, and for the biggest purpose of the Brita River is actually for agriculture. Some farmers have irrigation on the Breda River, and then obviously we're very fortunate we do tourism. So we've got river rafting and camps and stuff that we do on the Breda River. I'm well known for a man who conquers mountains, but well, today it's something very different. I'm going to be trying to conquer water. How do I feel about it? Excited at the same time as very concerned because most of people will remember those many years ago when I said I'm not the kind of guy who says no to any adventure except swimming because I can't swim. Well, let's go find out. Courage and a curious nature are what keep pushing him to cross new personal frontiers. I think the big thing with rivers is it, it takes you back to nature. By one day you can break away and you can't carry your cell phone with you. And we made out of water. I think water is a beautiful reset for us as humans. So it's a great experience just to take out of the comfort zone into the adventure zone. I do feel that I have a responsibility to inspire a generation of Africans that believe in themselves because for many, many years, I think ourselves, Africans, never believed that we could do what any other person has had done before. I believe it was purely because we're never exposed to it and as such, we never had the desire to do it. But I feel that I have the responsibility to change that narrative and say, hey, we all can do it. Um, doesn't matter where you come from or where you grow up, where you live. We all have the ability because we are all human beings. And that's why I feel it is a huge responsibility for myself in particular. And obviously a lot more other people that have come up to just show what we are capable of doing as Africans. That, from a man who started as a labourer, became a game ranger, then achieved the Explorer's Grand Slam. 
Oh, this experience for me today was just amazing. Well, I've done all sorts of adventures in my life, but the cool thing after having done this, it tells me that there's still a lot more that one can actually go out there and find and explore. There's a lot to do. It was just absolutely amazing. Water is very peaceful. I'm glad it was such a glorious day as well. And the water level is just suited me perfectly all right. So absolutely delighted. I'm glad I did it. He's guided the youngest South African up South America's top peak and his thirst is unquenchable. Just arrived at the foot of the mountains that's surrounding this area of Solendam and I'm about to explore the forest to see what is up there. Sibu Siso is fond of naturalist John Muir's words that I'd rather be in the mountains thinking of God than in church thinking about the mountains. Just down this beautiful trail up through the forest and beautiful little river on the side. Stunning. Sometimes people always say, it must be a walk in the park for you. No, I refuse to say that because every unique trail, every unique mountain, every unique adventure has got its own uniqueness about it. It takes you as a person to be able to be there, to live that moment. So I've had such a, an amazing moment walking up and looking at the beautiful trees, hearing the birds calling, and nothing beats that. It doesn't have to be the highest of mountains. It doesn't have to be the longest or multi-day trails. Just a three kilometer trail will give you such an amazing fulfillment if you are able to learn to be there at that moment. His South Pole Trek funded radios for rural children to be able to learn. This walk through the Langeberg Mountains was just for a good cuppa. Well, we might be far away from civilization or coffee shops, but on the mountain, any coffee tastes much better than anywhere else in the world. Sibu is a successful motivational speaker with a talent for getting his audience to live his experiences as they happened. Yeah, a day of exploring a new place which I've never been to, even though I've been to many places, has been just as equally as amazing, quite remarkable, because every place has got its own unique ability, and this one was no exception. I'm so glad that I've been able to see this part of our country. Though he can recount such things to his wife Nomsa Vilani and their children, what he dreams of is being able to show them. Next year will be the 20th anniversary of my first ascent of Mount Everest. And it has been my ambition and dream and promise to my family that one day I would want to take them to the base of the mountain that has had such an influence in our lives. On the day that I summited Everest to be with my family, my wife and my four children, we would like to be at the slopes of that mountain next year. So that is very exciting. I'm so looking forward to it because I get this question many times. Does any of your family members want to follow in your footsteps? Well, even if they don't, they will have to see Everest with their own eyes. Thank you very much all for joining me on this amazing explorational journey of our beautiful country, a place where I've never been. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy the fire and the view over there. As Utata Mandela said, after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to come, but those are for another day. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.